Hello all, welcome to Random Art with Karen. I'm in my spiral Bible and doing some simple verse mapping. In one of my previous videos, I showed you about Bible Gateway, how you can enter a passage and then see all the different translations. But you can also do a key word. So uh, I know some people choose a word for the year I've done that in the uh, past. I'm typing in transformed and hitting search. Uh, I have found that throughout the year then, uh, the needs of, of what I need to study and focus on will change. <laughs> so, all right, so I typed in transformed. Right now it's under the Amplified Bible. So it's just showing me some New Testament verses, uh, but it starts with Romans 12, 2. So yeah, either uh, search by your verse or if you want to focus on a word. And again, here's all the different translations in uh, Bible Gateway for you. So yeah, here's 12, 2. Uh, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I use the Prayerful Planner, and every month Jennifer sends us scripture writing and prayer journaling prompts. So that's where I started with Romans 12, 2. I'll put a link for the Prayerful Planner if you're new here. Uh, we have a Facebook group that she offers these, uh, along with some printable deco. But you can also go to the Prayerful Planner website, scroll down, enter your email, and you'll get these free printables every month. So again, I'm starting very simply. Uh, highlighted my verse, underlined my word. Uh, the word was transformed. I uh, did look, and if you look at Romans chapter 1, verse 1, this uh, Romans is written by Paul. I then wrote the verse by the Amplified Bible translation. And then I just Googled the definition of transformed, make a thorough or dramatic change in the form, appearance, or character of, and it also used the word convert. I also listed another uh, verse that has the word transformed in it here. Um, you know, I'm going to leave this space open. You know, as I continue to do verse mapping, I may add things, change things up. I don't know. But uh, here, I just used some colored pencils uh, that I just went over, then wrote. And then I have this Vanessa colored pencil blender pen. And I'll show you how that works in a minute. And then I just like to write with a Pilot G205. And if you're wondering about bleed through or shading or shadowing, uh, just a little bit of shadowing. I don't know if you can see that. And maybe you can see a little bit here of a page that I did. Uh, here I was using the Pilot G2 pen in colors. So, so this was another verse, transformed. Uh, wrote the word down. Wrote this translation in the Amplified Bible. Um, and then referenced my other. I then typed in Google 2 Corinthians 3, 18 context. And it came up, there was a site called Bible Ref, and it said, God removes the veil between himself and people only when they come to him through faith in Christ. Only in Christ is sin forgiven once and for all. And then I also did further research yeah, you may hear Tom. Tom's got this new music system going on. <laughs> you may hear it. <laughs> so this is written by Paul. I oh, forgot to finish my why. Yeah, I get my ruler when I'm uh, writing this out so that I can stay straight like that. But then what happens is sometimes I forget to do that. So, yeah, 2 Corinthians written by Paul. Begins with his insistence that Christ's presence in the hearts of the Corinthians should be all the evidence they need that his ministry is true. So again, using the colored pencils. So let me show you, because here's another verse 
I want to look further into. This is 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. Every scripture inspired of God is also profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for instruction, which is in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, furnished completely unto every good work. So I'm just going to get my colored pencil, and you see now the beauty of the spiral Bible, how I'm able just to flip it on its back, and it's nice and flat. I know. <laughs> That's what uh, one of the key things that uh, made me want to uh, get this Bible along with just the uh, place there for notes. And uh, I will link the flip through that I did. Yeah, and the pages here, uh, about eight and a half by 11 on size. So kind of like just what your regular printer paper is. Oh, it sounds like he's listening to Christopher Cross and that word in the song, Sailing. Oh, it is so peaceful and serene. That's perfect for uh, Bible reading. All right, so, so you can see here, you, you can kind of see the, uh, how you know how pencils do, that it's not a smoothness. So that's when I use this Finesse Colored Pencil Blending Tool. It's got two ends. This one's kind of thick, and then this other one is a little bit smaller. And then I just take it and just blend. You see how that's doing? Isn't that neat? I know. Uh, now I do, this one's getting dry, so Tom ordered me some more. Uh, Amazon has a pack of three for $12.99. And you, you do want several because let's say I want to go then with green. I'll either have to try to wipe this off real good. Otherwise, if I start doing green, it's, I'm still going to have some of this purple on here. So that's the beauty of having uh, several of these. Yeah, you can see it's not blending as well because it's, uh, it's getting dry on me. But I think you can get a good idea here. Let me show you the difference. I hope you can see the difference. Yeah, I like that look. It because it sort of looks like maybe a marker or watercolor, uh, but yet you're not getting any bleed through. Uh, I don't even see um, where is it? It's right here. Yeah, I can't see it. Maybe you can. Your eyes may be younger than mine. <laughs> All right, good people. If you like this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Become a subscriber if you're not already. Just hit the subscribe button. Those of you that do subscribe, you know I appreciate you. Let's do the wave by. Look forward to doing some verse mapping with you next time.